No More Delay is the title of our short exhortation this morning. And, and brethren, this morning, being a past Sunday, we're going to do a bit more of uh, praying. And uh, my message will be short. And forgive me if you see me go here and there. It's just to bring out the salient points that we need, you know, to pray this morning. So it's going to be a bit unusual, so I might be demanding of you a bit more to get on your feet and pray for you know, those of us who are as young as we are, to just get up and, and you know, just pray. And uh, the Lord will answer us even as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. So the sermon will be a bit short. So no more delay. What is a delay in a man's life? It means a postponement. It's a slowdown of events. It means lateness. Something that should have come on time is coming late. It means stagnation in a particular place. That's what delay, you know, sort of, all of that are synonyms of delay. Stagnation, lateness, and all of that. And brethren, nothing frustrates a man in life like delay. The Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 2, he says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. We're going to take a short our text and we're going to pray around the, uh, uh, that text in 1 Samuel 1 and it's 1 to 20. I'll not be able to read all of it, but it's a familiar story. It's the story of Elkanah and his two wives, Hannah and Penina. We recognize that there was a delay in the life of Hannah, she was delayed in giving children, in giving birth to children, and she went through quite a bit. So we're going to take a few prayer points there and then some other prayer points that the Lord has also laid in my heart. First Samuel 1, 1 to 20, I'll just read a few of the verses. Verse 2, and he had two wives. The name of one was Hannah and the name of the other was Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went out, up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Homni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. Verse 4, And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut her womb. Verse 6, And her adversary also provoked her sore. For to make her afraid because the Lord had shut her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, she provoked her, therefore she wept and did not eat. Verse 11, now, and she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, that was one of the years she went to Shiloh. If thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give unto him. Give him unto the Lord, and all the days of his life there shall be no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that's verse 12, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunken. And the rose, and she said, uh, so verse 17, And Eli answered her, Go in peace, and the Lord of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And I'll jump straight to verse 20. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come, about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, because I have asked of the Lord. We know the story is a familiar story. She had that delay. She went before the Lord. And when she went before the Lord, the Lord heard her prayer and she was answered. Today, I believe that everyone who has a delay, the Lord is going to hear you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, that delay is terminated in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, delay has been a long-term strategy of the devil, you know, to, to, to destroy children of God. You see, what the devil does is not about to attack your past. He looks at your future. Because he looks at where you're going to the glorious end that the Lord has pro pro promised to you. And what he does is that he wants to attack that glorious end and he wants to bring it to naught. And so his strategy has always been to attack the future. And so when he sees a position 
that there is something glorious in the future and he cannot stop it. What he seeks to do sometimes is to delay it. And brethren, it's a long-term strategy that has worked many times, even the best of the best, Father Abraham, when he was delayed. Because of that discouragement, he went into the wife, I mean into the uh, uh, maids of his wife. So it's a long-time strategy of the devil to do what? To bring discouragement. He brings mockers along to you when there seems to be a delay in your life. But I say to you today that even when the devil tries to bring a delay, today that delay has ended. That delay will be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go into the prayer session, maybe I'll just switch because I had prepared a few topics, but I think it's best for us to deal with something very pertinent ahead. Typically, we'll call for, make the altar call at the end of, of uh, you know, of, of our message. But I think in this stage, I just want to twist it around a bit so that if there is somebody here who has not given his life to Christ, this will be the best time to do it so that while we pray and while we go through these things, that the Lord has given to us, you can feel a part of it. And I'll tell you that one of the biggest strategies of the devil is sin in bringing delay in the lives of a man. As we will see later in Joshua 6, 7, and 8, Joshua chapter 6, 7, and 8, it was time for the children of Israel to move forward. It was time for them to go into the promised land after the delay they had suffered in the wilderness. And Joshua had risen up and was ready to get ahead. The first stop was Jericho. We'll talk about Jericho in a while. And in Jericho, God gave them a strategy and the Lord helped them to move beyond Jericho. The next place was Ai. Ai was a small town. And in Ai, that's chapter 7 or, there, chapter, 7 or chapter 8 thereabouts. When they went to Ai, they said, go and spy the land. And they look at the land and they just said, it's just about 3,000. I mean, it's just a small place. We need about 3,000 or 4,000 people to go after I and destroyed. I think those were around the numbers. But when they went into I, they went back with their tails between their legs. They were defeated roundly. What caused it? There was an Achan. Achan had touched that costing. Sin had come in. And because sin had come in, there had to be another delay. So brethren, sin is one major cause of delay. And we need to deal with every ache and everything that would have caused sin. And so if there's anybody here this morning who knows that there is something in his heart, and even as children of God, there might be somebody in your heart that you have not left, that you've not freed. You have known the Lord, but there's some unforgiveness. There's something you know that you need to go to God before. Please, let's do it now. And if there's somebody who has never given his life to Christ, let me just see you wave your hand wherever you are. We'll just pray with you where you are. Because we want to deal with things. Press the Lord. Please, someone should just meet her. You will not need to come out. Please get the paper to her. Any other person who wants to deal with giving his life to Jesus Christ now? Any other person? Please, ushers, let's get, uh, let's get uh, the, the, the card to her, the decision card to her. Just pray after me and ask the Lord that, Father, t today, everything in my life, I ask you to come into my life. Everything in my life, oh Lord, I... Come, I, do not, I, I do not wish to sin again. I come against every sin. I will not sin again. I want to live for you. And Father, today I give my life totally to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. As you have prayed that prayer, the Lord has heard you. He will be your Lord. He will be your Savior. And as we pray today, the Lord himself will also answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. And for any of us here, just ask the Lord that whatever it is in my life, Whatever it is in my life, Father, whatever it is in my life, whatever it is in my life, Father, please let that blood speak for me. Let mercy speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Please pray for mercy this morning. That's our first prayer point. Pray for mercy. Pray for the mercy of the Lord. Pray for the mercy of the Lord. Pray for the mercy of the Lord. Whatever it is in my life this morning that would stop the mercy of God from me, O oh Lord. Father, please pray. Father, let the blood speak for me. Let that blood speak for me. Expose every sin in my life, O oh Lord, that can cause a delay in my life, O oh Lord, that can cause a setback in my journey to destiny. Let the blood of Jesus wipe it. Let the blood of Jesus wipe it. Let the mercy of God prevail. Let the mercy of God prevail. Let the blood of Jesus wipe it. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, now that we've dealt that and taken that out of the way, I have said here that when the devil keeps you frustrated for long enough, he's able to deal and attack with you. And it's a long-term strategy. So you're going to start your first prayer point and ask the Lord and say, Father, Father, every action of the enemy to delay or frustrate my to delay or frustrate my, my movement, O oh Lord. Father, please, everything, O oh Lord, to delay and frustrate your plans for me, O oh Lord. To distray, de delay or frustrate, O oh Lord, my acceleration in life, O oh Lord. Father, today, let it be truncated. Every plan of the devil, every plan of the wicked one, every action of the enemy, O oh Lord, to front, O oh Lord, and to frustrate, to truncate, O oh Lord, my movement forward, O oh Lord. Father, please, let it be frustrated, O Lord. Father, let it be truncated to the Lord. Let it be truncated, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, like I said, there are powers that specialize in holding back good things from the lives of children of God. These are things that are actually available to you as a child of God. When I was meditating over this scripture and this topic that God gave me, the, the, the illustration that God put in my heart was of a man who had a journey to make. He had something to go to deliver. And he had a car, a turbo prop car. You know these cars with two, cylinder, with two exhausts and with a big engine, maybe a V6 engine. And the guy was seated there in traffic full of potential, unable to move, unable to go. He had every potential in him, but there was a delay. And when you look forward, and I mean a lot of times you look at it in traffic in Lagos, you go ahead, you see nothing. Brethren, that is the strategy of the wicked one. That is the strategy of the devil. And he said to me, so people can sit around with so much potential, but they are delayed. Things seem delayed in their lives. I do not know what it is in your life. Is it marriage? Is it a career progression? Is it your business breakthrough? Is it victory in one area of your life or the other? Today that delay will be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Today that delay will be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to ask the Lord and say, whatever it is in this month of divine isolation, Whatever it is, every hold, every power of delay is broken in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every hold of delay, every power of delay. In this month of divine acceleration. Father, oh Lord, their hold is broken over my life. Their hold is broken over my life. Their hold is broken over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hold is broken over my life. Their hold is broken over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, their hold is broken over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And brethren, like I said, you see that hold up. If we look at the book of Daniel 10, 1 to 2. In Daniel 10, sorry, 12 to 13. Daniel prayed a prayer at some point. The answer to that prayer had come. But that prayer was being withheld. Because the prince of Persia came to withhold, the pe to withhold the person who came, the angel that was coming with the prayer, with the answer to his prayer. So sometimes these delays are the strategy of the devil just to frustrate you. Just to frustrate you. You're going to ask the Lord this morning and say, every strategy of the devil to delay me, O oh Lord, to delay me in this walk to destiny. Father, O oh Lord, today, O oh Lord, truncate it. Father, truncate that strategy in the mighty name of Jesus. Every strategy of the wicked one, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, to delay me in my walk to destiny. Father, every strategy of the wicked one, O oh Lord, to frustrate my walk to destiny. Father, please destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy every strategy of the devil, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Still in that book of Daniel. In that book of Daniel. 
When the answer came, the person who brought it, he said, that is what the devil did. He sent the prince of Persia. He was there to withhold me. But he said the Lord sent angel Michael. He said to do what? To help him. You're going to ask the Lord to say, Father, Father, send me help against every prince of Persia standing to delay my promise in my life. Standing to delay the promises, your promises in my life. Send help to me, O oh Lord. Send help to me, O oh Lord. Send help to me, O oh Lord. Against every prince of pressure, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, send help, O oh Lord. Let me get a speedy response when I call upon your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, send help to me. Send help to me. Send help to me. Send help to me. Help to me. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, we really should be praying. If we look at 1 Samuel 1, if we look at that story of Elkanah, you will recognize that Hannah, Penina, and Elkanah went to Shiloh year after year. Year after year. But that delay existed in her life. You could have gone to church year, day, Sunday after Sunday, Holy Ghost services, month after month. You could have been here, declarations are made month after month, and yet there is still a pending issue. There is still something that seems to be a delay in your life. But brethren, you will notice that it was when Hannah decided, she said in that time, this delay will not pass today. She made up her mind that today she was going to end that delay. And after she had given that, she went and focused first God. She went into the temple and they said she prayed from her belly. Her mouth were moving until it looked as if she was drunk. Is there somebody here today that will develop a holy anger for whatever it is? I don't know yours, I know mine. Whatever it is in your life that seems to have been delayed. Is there somebody who has a staring from deep inside you? That when you speak, people be wondering, is this drink, is this one drunk? If you have that staring today, the Lord will terminate everything that looks like a delay in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to ask the Lord this morning. Tell him, Father, I won't leave here this morning. Lord, I'm not going to leave here this morning the same. I have come before you, O Lord, in this temple. I have come before you, O Lord, before this holy altar. I will not leave this place the same. Father, even as you answer Hannah, Lord, as you answer Hannah, answer me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord, even as he answered Hannah, he will answer you today. As he answered Hannah, he will answer you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. As he answered Hannah, he will answer you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, ask the Lord that you will not live here the same way you came in. Father, you are tired of all the delay in your life. Tell him that you will not live here the same way you came. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, if we look at that scripture, and if you look at it, I want to ask a simple question. Does anybody know the name of any of Penina's children? If you know the name, just wave your hand wherever you are. Let me just see who knows Penina's children. No. Nobody knows the name of Penina's children. But what is the name of uh, Hannah's child? Samuel. That scene that seemed like was a delay gave birth to a spectacular testimony in the life of Hannah. And you're going to ask the Lord this morning that everything that has seemed to be a delay in your life will give birth to a spectacular te testimony. It will give birth to a spectacular testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to say, Father, 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 Father. let everything that has seemed like a delay in my life Father, let it give birth to a spectacular testimony. A spectacular testimony in my life. A testimony that cannot be ignored. A testimony that people will hear from generation to generation. A testimony that people will come to see. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything, oh Lord, that seems like a delay. Father, oh Lord, let it give birth to a spectacular testimony in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. What that cannot be ignored. A testimony that cannot be ignored. A testimony that men will come to see. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Brethren, in like manner, I am being led specifically to pray for Jay. With all the issues that have happened, it looks like, they, they, you know, all that we have been planning to do, there seems to have been a delay. But we are going to ask the Lord this morning that whatever has seemed to be a delay in our movement to our Rehoboth will give birth to a spectacular testimony in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for Jesus' embassy. Pray for your church. That everything that has seemed to be a delay in a movement to Harehoboth, Father, it will give birth to a spectacular testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. It will give birth to a church that people will come from all walks of life to see. It will give birth to a church where the wonders of the Lord will be made manifest. It will give birth to a place where people will come from north, from south, from east, from west. Where people will get their deliverances. In the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory will give birth to a spectacular church. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will give birth to a spectacular testimony for this church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, it was recorded there that Penina ridiculed Hannah. It was recorded that Penina ridiculed Hannah. There might be people who look at you today and wonder, okay, I came into this job after you and look at the position you still are. Have, they have been promoted ahead of you. There might have been things, people in your family, little ones who have gotten married ahead of you. There might have been things, there could have been delays that you have experienced. But you're going to cry unto the Lord. You know that Penina was alive to see Samuel. You're going to ask the Lord that everyone that has ridiculed you will be alive to see that your spectacular testimony. Will be alive to share in your joy in that particular testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to say, Father, everyone that has ridiculed me in the past, that everybody that has ridiculed everything that seems like a delay in my life, they will be alive to celebrate my glorious testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be alive to celebrate my glorious testimony. They will be alive to celebrate my glorious testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be alive to see our testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless you. They will see they will be alive. Even as Penina was alive to see the testimony of Hannah. They will be alive to see my testimony. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, you see the illustration I gave you about the car. Imagine that this man had used the Google map. And then before he left his home, is it possible that he could have avoided where the traffic was? Very possible. And the Lord also reminded me that, you see, if you go back before the Lord and he gives you a divine revelation, you can avoid all those paths that will lead to delay in your life. You, you, you see what I mean? You can avoid those paths that lead to delay in your life. So you are going to ask the Lord this morning and say, Father, Father, grant me the divine direction that I need to avoid delay in my life. To avoid delay in my life. Because when the Lord gives you a divine direction, you avoid delay in your life. Everything that seems to would want to put a blockade before you, the Lord will take the circumvent you from the place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to give you divine direction. Let him give you divine direction. Let the Lord give you a divine revelation that will make you circumvent every blockade that the devil would put on the road. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord give you divine revelation that will help you circumvent every delay that the devil might have put in your path. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord give you a divine revelation. Oh, that you might know the strategies to apply. To circumvent everything that looks like a blockade. That circumvents everything that looks like a delay in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In that book of Joshua, and we're going to be closing, I have a few more prayer points, but maybe we'll just take one or two and then we will end the service at that. In that book of Joshua 6, 7, and 8, you see that when they wanted to go to Ai, now when they wanted to go into Jericho, Jericho was the first blockade they made. 
the Lord gave them a strategy. They had thought they had 40,000 strong men and that they were going to attack Jericho. And then, we, uh, you know, cross the wall of Jericho. Well, the wall of Jericho was there and the people had shot that gate. That was going to be a delay in their life. But the Lord gave them a strategy. And the strategy he gave them, he just said to them, you know, just walk around the place. Don't make noise. Seven days walk around. The seven days walk seven times. And on the seventh time, let them blow the trumpet and the walls fell. That was the strategy for Jericho. And the Lord caused that delay to, you know, he, he took that delay away from them. But in I, he just sent somebody and when he went, they said, oh, three, four thousand people. They walked almost presumptuously. They said, they thought to themselves that, oh, I is a small place. We can run over the place. And so they walked presumptuously. But there's another man in the Bible who, doesn't, who never walked presumptuously. Every time that he had a problem, remember when David's wife and his men's wives were taken, what did he do? He went back to the Lord. He said to God, he said, should I pursue? He said, pursue, you will overtake and you will recover all. You're going to ask the Lord, that Father, that I may not walk presumptuously, but grant me the grace to seek your face, that you might give me divine direction in everything in life I want to do. That I might not walk presumptuously. You might think that, oh, this is a small thing. This is a little part of my life. I can just walk in and take it over. But that is the thing that can cause significant delay to you. Because I the, was a place of significant delay to the children of Israel. Ask the Lord that I will not walk significant. I will not walk presumptuously. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not walk presumptuously. I will not walk presumptuously. Father, Lord, every time I want to go out, I will not walk presumptuously. Grant me the grace to come back to you. Grant me the grace to come back to you. Grant me the grace to come back to you. That, Father, you might give me the direction I need to go. That every delay might be taken out of my path. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, my time... It's very fast spent. My time is actually up. Let's just begin to thank the Lord for what he's done today because I know that everyone here, the Lord has taken away delay from your life. Every strategy of the devil has been truncated over your life. The Lord is moving you forward in this month of divine acceleration. Everything that has hitherto been a delay in your life will bathe a new and glorious testimony over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is moving you forward today. The Lord is moving you forward today. Every strategy of the devil over your life has been broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If you believe that there is no more delay in your life, why don't you just shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.